here today at the beach with some of my friends to talk about ocean acidification. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hey y'all, I'm Victoria. Hi, I'm Leanne. And I'm Quincy. And we all love studying chemistry, which is the study of how things interact and change to form new things. Today we're talking about ocean chemistry, which is how things in our oceans combine and change to affect our waters. Ocean acidification sounds like a really crazy complex idea, but we're going to show you that it's actually as easy as A, B, C. A is for acidification. As chemists, we measure acidification using the pH scale. The more hydrogen ions a substance has, the more acidic it is. Over the past 150 years, oceans are slowly becoming more acidic. This is due to a chemical reaction with carbon dioxide, which humans are releasing into the air. Carbon dioxide is absorbed into the ocean and reacts with water to form carbonic acid. Carbonic acid is a weak acid that is constantly breaking apart and reforming. When it breaks apart, it releases hydrogen ions into the water. Remember, the more hydrogen ions something has, the more acidic it is. B is for bioavailability, which is the amount of nutrients in water that organisms can use. These lose hydrogen ions do more than just lower the pH level. They also decrease the bioavailability of certain substances in the ocean. Two substances found in the ocean are carbonate and calcium, which join together to form calcium carbonate, which is very important to organisms in the ocean. The problem is, these extra hydrogen ions are stealing carbonate away from calcium. So, there is less calcium carbonate and the bioavailability of it is decreasing. C is for calcifiers. Calcifiers is the name we give to organisms that use calcium carbonate from the ocean to make their shells. This includes things like crabs, oysters, coral, and many others. However, as the bioavailability of calcium carbonate goes down, calcifiers have a hard time forming their shells. They either turn out way too weak for protection, or they take so much energy to make that they end up having shorter lifespans. So just remember, A, B, C. A is for acidification which is occurring when carbon dioxide from the air combines with seawater to form carbonic acid. B is for bioavailability, and the bioavailability of things like calcium carbonate is decreasing because loose hydrogen ions are stealing the carbonate away from the calcium. And C is for calcifiers, like this guy, who are having trouble forming their shells, skeletons, and other protection. By studying chemistry, we can help protect the ocean and all the organisms that live in it. So let's keep our oceans blue and our chemistry green.